Sorry guys, got interrupted um, when I tried to switch to get on internet, so I can't do that. Um, you have to do the best you can. Okay, and are they going to do um, his microchip or they're not going to microchip? I, I don't think that she realized that that was what is out through that. Oh. So when she comes up here, the dog's going to get a microchip. Okay. So we are getting radar, the one with the big ears. He has something going on with his eye. Um, they are treating him with a steroid. He is not neutered. He's vaccinated. He's not microchipped. He will be microchipped before he leaves. Um, the other one has to stay here till tomorrow. All the others have to stay here. None of them are available to leave yet. They're on stray holds. All the other ones that, uh, there were a bunch that we saw as we were walking out, they have to stay here till the 17th because they're on a stray hold, so they all have to stay here. The only one that's able to leave today is uh, Radar, and that's the one with the big ears that we saw, the first dog we saw when we came in. So we're getting him out today. We'll get him neutered. Um, we'll make an appointment for the eye doctor and all that. <clears throat> but um, he's adorable, and I can't wait to get him out of here. And then we'll come back tomorrow um, and get the other dog that stray hold will be up tomorrow. Can't get it today, unfortunately. So it has to spend the night. We can come back at noon tomorrow for the second dog. Stress level through the roof at a shelter. It is so hard walking through all those kennels, seeing all those faces. You want to, you want to pull them all out. And it's very hot and it's you can just feel the stress i have utmost so much respect for all the volunteers that come here on a daily basis and witnesses every single day um it is i just have so much respect every time i come to a shelter it never gets easier i mean it just never gets easier. Five six one eight six zero three seven eight three. Yes. Yeah, they said he was 13 pounds, approximately three to five years of age. Um, they don't really know. They do a guesstimate. So without a microchip, there's really no telling. Uh, he's adorable. He's adorable. Can't wait to get, him, get my hands on him and get him out of here. And as you saw, that's just one building we went in. They are beyond full. And as we were... Uh, <clears throat> talking amongst ourselves and looking at the dogs. You saw the workers as we were walking out, they're bringing out another dog and another dog and their dogs are just coming in faster than not. Um, and they're being put in the, in the cages on stray hold. So they're in these cages and it's hot. There's no air conditioning in this shelter, which blows my mind. With the amount of money that Palm Beach has, it blows my mind unacceptable to me, in my opinion. Should have a state-of-the-art, beautiful AC shelter for these dogs. They have big, big, big box fans blowing, um, but it's just very hot, and it's stressful to begin with without an animal being uncomfortable. <sighs> I'm 
I'm asking everybody for your support at this time. Um, I'm asking everybody to please make a small donation for us to continue our mission because this is not easy. It is not easy to do this, I'm telling you. So there's one we're taking today, coming back tomorrow. I don't care what kind of dog he is, some sort of a chihuahua mix with big, huge, massive, adorable ears. I don't care what he is. I just want to get him out of here. That's all I want. Like they were like, oh, you want to meet him in the yard and, and, and check out his behavior? And I'm like, no, I don't. I just want to get the dog out of here. Just get the dog and let's go. We'll, we've done this a billion times and you see how, no AC, nope. You see how when we get these dogs out of here and then we get back in the car um, and we go live and then we show you at the rescue house how sweet. And a lot of them are labeled fearful, behavioral. It's this shelter environment. It's what they've been through. They need to decompress. Um, thank you, Pauline. Pauline, nice to see you. I haven't seen you in so long. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, for everybody that's there supporting us, thank you so much because this is really, really stressful. And like I said, we're here, we're at a shelter. Um, as you heard, I asked the questions and he's vaccinated. He's not microchip, they're gonna microchip him. She said he is being treated for an eye with steroids in one of his eyes right now. Um, so they're, I asked if we could get the medication. He still needs to see an eye specialist and he needs to be neutered, he's not neutered. So. We never know what we're getting when we walk into the shelter with Medico. You know, we need to be prepared. We have a lot going on and a lot of responsibility. A lot of dogs that are depending on us. Um, and like I told you, we're taking care of Misty is going in for major surgery at the 24 hour emergency hospital, which is like double because they have the special anesthesiologist. She had a bad, bad experience with anesthesia and they almost lost her the last time she went under. <clears throat> so we're covering that bill um, and Sam has this cyst on his tail so we had to make an appointment Shelly called and made an appointment for Sam so he has to be seen Blake is limping he's on medications I mean every time you turn around it is something else it's always we have the ongoing of Mario it was over $600 yesterday it's a lot it's a lot it's just always something chewy his tube came out again. He was taken in last week. He had a new tube put in that was $700 under anesthesia. Perfect. He already got his treatment for, for today. today. So she said he's got two more days left. Awesome. Um, what else did she just say to him? If you have any other issues with it, she said he can bring it back. Oh, I won't. Thank you. I'll make an appointment with the do eye doctor. I'll put it in my purse. Remind me, okay? I think we have at home so many for the eye. Which eye is it? doesn't say which eye it doesn't say which eye it just says to the eye I don't know which I guess we'll be able to tell maybe but it doesn't say the eye which eye so you don't have to I will, I will, Sophia. Excuse me, can you ask her which eye? It just says to the eye. I don't know, left eye. His, his left eye, okay, his left eye. Hi, everybody. Um, this is just a recap, really briefly. Um, yeah, it is. One, two, I was going to take two, but they wouldn't let me take the second. He's on a stray hold. He's one year old. He's on a stray hold until tomorrow. So we'll come back tomorrow and grab him if he's available. I hate that he has to spend another night here. So we are, Shelly and I are here at the Palm Beach Animal Control. We have partnered with them. Um, since Max went home, we had space, so we decided to come up here and save a life. And, you know, every time you try to do something good, it's just, it's hard. Um, as we came in here, we were walking through all the kennels and saw all the dogs. Very, very, very stressful. They're all facing death. 
Um, there's no AC, it's hot as hell in here. Very uncomfortable, very stressful. Um, and then a volunteer got bit while we were here and was carried away on a gurney. And then the dog had to be euthanized. So you wanna talk about stress? Thank you so much, Roxanne. You are always there. Thank you so much. I can't see any donations coming in on my end um, while I'm live, but I know it's so sad. But I'm asking everybody to please, please make a small contribution for us to save radar that we're picking up today, possibly a second tomorrow. And then if an owner doesn't come forward and uh, our ongoing mission, guys, just never ends. So just bear with me, we're waiting. We're just waiting for them to get radar taken care of, whether they're microchipping him, whatever, um, and then bring him out to us. That's him. Oh. I'll be right back. No worries, no worries. I will tell you, it's not a happy journey. Um, you know, you get excited when you're gonna, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna get in your car and you're gonna drive and go to the shelter and you're gonna save a life. You know, it's, it's, I can't explain if any of you have not done it. I can't explain the feeling that comes over you. Um, it's not a happy, exciting, it's, my stomach's in knots. I'm going to show you with Shelly, right? Shelly's sitting next to me. You can see it in your body language, in your, your mind, you constantly, all these different emotions going through your head. It's very, very hard. It's very hard. You know, you're thinking of all the ones that are back there that you witnessed and you looked into their eyes. Um, and you want to save them all and you can't. It's like... Them if it's both eyes please or if, it's just if I need eye. to do both that's fine I, I just yeah I'm gonna confirm because it says left here and this is both here so yeah. right so I'm gonna confirm that with them this is the updated rabies okay. information I didn't give you a tag because you guys aren't in the area and then this is the microchip of the perfect. Plant, okay? Perfect. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So they just putting the microchip in now. Shelly, can you hold that for one second? I see you're in deep thought. Always, right? That's just the rabies. And put it in my purse. Oh. I just couldn't do it while it was on my shoulder. Thank you so much. Get these up so I'm ready. Huh? 
I hate leaving my house. Yeah, the office that we're sitting, well, the waiting area, that has AC up front here. But every other part of the shelter does not. So where the, where the workers are, they have AC. Just the left side. Perfect. Okay. Thank, thank you, you so much. You're very welcome. Thank you. So it's just the left eye that needs to be treated. 13 pounds. Big ears. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh. Right there. What? Really? Oh. I didn't hear it. Great. Another cat. This is the, right, the shelter needs another cat. <laughs> Poor kitty. What? The dog? Yeah. Mm. What? What's wrong? What are they doing? I don't know what's happening. It's very strange. I couldn't see the other one before. Because it was covered. I don't know if that's what it is. I'm so stressed out right now. You heard something? That's probably the dog. Great, wonderful. That's probably the dog that bit. Now they're gonna kill it. Thanks. I can't wait to get out of here, you guys. I can't wait to get out of here. I can't wait to get out of here. Huh? I'm not even asking. I don't want to know, Shelly. I can't. They were in here when we were, they were leaving when we were here, so maybe they were waiting for maybe we could wish. Could wish. <coughs> Hello. 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 Non-stop. It's just non-stop. These poor shelters, like, what are they supposed to do? She's just trying to surrender the cats. Yeah, more, more cats. More cats being surrendered. So sad. Welcome to our world. Welcome to our world. Yeah. Oh, they have dogs' IDs, yeah. but they're not leaving with a dog. Maybe. Maybe 
Maybe, yeah. They what, these guys right here? Oh, they're the ones with the kittens. It's two kittens. A oh, one kitten. Oh. Oh. Oh, hi, buddy. Hi. It's, you love him? Is he the sweetest? Oh, Radar. We picked a good one. They said, do you want to meet him before you take him? I'm like, no, just give me the dog. Is he? Oh, look at his pudgy little feet. Thank you guys for everything you do. You too. You ready? Let's go. This is the happy part. This is the happy part. Thank you. Hold on. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> What is that crying? Oh, it's a husky. Oh. They are very vocal. Yes. Oh. Shelly, let's go over here. You want to see if he has to pee real quickly? We can try. Everybody loves radar. Let's go over here. The happiest part is leaving the shelter and mixed sadness because there's so many left behind. Yep, just pull that. Good boy, Rada. Go peepees. Good boy. Yeah, I do. <clears throat> I do this because you all need to see what goes on in the inside. Transparent. Educating everybody what we have to deal with. This is what it is. This is what rescue is. Don't think that just rescuing this little guy is going to be, oh, yay. Um, it's still extremely stressful thinking about all the dogs that are still there that we witnessed and made eye contact with. Stay here, Radar. Pooping. Pooping, I knew it. He's making big poopies. Little runny from stress. It's okay, honey. It's okay, take your time. It's the cutest little thing with the little, little, little short legs. Let's pick him up and get him in the car. I'm going to comfortable. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. You want to get in the back or the front, Shell? You can go in the front. It's fine. He's going to be chill. I'll close the door for you. Okay, I'm going to turn it on. It's hot. Hold on, buddy. Cranking it. Hi, hi. Here we go. Good job. Here we go. Good job. Here we are. Hold on. That's a good boy. Hi, Radar. I know, baby. I know. I know. I'm going to get that AC blowing it's on you. Crazy. Hi, He's crazy. Everybody loved you. We picked a good one. He's low. Hold on. He's charging. There he is, guys. There's our newest save today. Look at the ears. This is, oh, boy, this is Radar. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, yeah. He's about three to five. We just yeah. rescued him. We know nothing about his past. We literally just rescued him from Palm Sweet. Beach, as you saw. While we were there, we walked every kennel from one building. Um, there are a lot of dogs that need help, a lot. And again, it's not AC in there, so it's very hot, very stressful on top of not being comfortable with the hot air. Um, yeah, so owners dropping off cats, I know. Non-stop dogs coming in and being 
you know, going through the process and then putting in cages and they have to stay in those cages till the 17th um, on their stray hold. They would not allow us to take a second dog. Oh, oh yeah. Did she rescue? I hope Seems so. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, we just, uh, we see a big shepherd leaving. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Big Shepherd just got out, I so that's awesome. You did? He's kiss, he's giving Shelly a bad. Are you happy? Are you happy to be out of their radar? Yeah? You're a lap doggy? Oh, we're going to have so much fun with you. All right, guys, we're going to get back to the rescue house because we have a lot to do and take care of. Just wanted to bring you along. Again, please donate. Um, he needs to be neutered. He needs to see an eye doctor. His left eye looks like, well, it's, he's on medication. He's a cutie. Welcome Radar to his new life. And we may be going back tomorrow if the dog is still available. They wouldn't let us take him today. One more day until he can get out. We didn't have a name, just an ID number. Welcome Radar to 100 Plus and his new life. This is Amy and Shelly. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Please donate and thank you.